Hi everybody, my name is Vesatien and here we go to my winter test resolution setup through. We tested this time three different winter tires in test number Y and we were able to measure accuracy and braking and consumption readings. For noise and comfort we still need to repeat the test which comes also through for the braking and consumption but here you see how it's done. First you will see the standard tire which we use in the Hockapelli in the Model Y. This is the daily driven tire 22560R18 Nokia Hockapelli R5 SUV and first we do some accuration standing start and measure how long it takes to reach 100 km per hour speed in the morning it was 16.2 seconds and then we measure braking uh, 80 km per hour GPS speed and measure the distances and times and it was 5.2 seconds and 62.1 meters for this tire then Tesla original wheels and Nokia Hakkapelitta R5 EV tires 2254519 and these accurated a little bit better on this test than the uh, first first tires you can see it here 14.27 seconds to 100 so a little bit better and in the braking we take it into account that the first tires are a little bit bigger so here you saw 82 kilometers per hour start P and they are a little bit worse or longer distance then we have used tires here 255-55 R18 Continental Viking Contact 7 these have about 6 millimeter tread left and they are from 2019 years so they are not so fresh the first two ones were one or two years old these are now four years old and as you can see from the steering wheel it takes much more effort to keep the car on the road 17.6 17.06 seconds and in the braking you can see it just slides past the uh, measuring points where the first tire stopped 83 meters and seven seconds it took and that's not good. Then we repeat it in the afternoon as a sample measurement to see if the conditions on the road had changed and it had changed a lot so as you can see the accurations are a little bit faster on the evening it matches the uh, Tesla tire size 14.2 seconds and in the braking it's conditions are a little bit worse so it slides past uh, the same mark than in the morning so it's a little bit longer 6.15 seconds and 68.8 meters here side by side comparison of the accurations starting from standstill and see, you can see which is the fastest cars there on the dark measurement, the darkness it's not showing so fast, but here you can see actually it's the fastest, and then comes the Tesla original tires, and then the morning run for the 225s, and latest was the 255-55 Continentals, which are used tires, so you need to remember, and for the braking side-by-side -side comparison shows clearly which one is the worst and which one is the good so there is like six six meter different between evening and morning for the same tire so you can re-adjust the uh, braking distance if you want we did that same for the consumption here you can see the tires the test measurement method was exactly the same as I have used in my other projects so two directions north and south uh, distance of the test is 
three to four kilometers I have to measure that because we made it a little bit shorter because in the winter there was not the place to turn easily back from the other direction of the route so we made it shorter on both both ends to make the testing a little bit easier we started again with the 225 60 18 r5 suv tires we got consumption pretty constant first run 184 then 185 and on the third one 183 and the average of that was 184 for three runs and to the other direction 253 then we had some fail on the test there was other cars blocking the road so we had to pause the test and we went to do the actually the acceleration in this point and then came back and then the conditions were already a little bit better as you can see the consumption was better and the average for the two runs is 249 then we changed the tesla original tires and you, you here you need to remember that uh, the hakkapalita r5 tires are best uh, tires you can buy for actual winter tires consumption wise the continental leaking contact 7 is was it 2.6 or 2.7 percent worse in consumption what the technical maima magazine did, did so bear that in mind on the first run we had uh, two kilometers per hour too little low speed for half of the run so that's why it's much lower consumption there so if it's red we did i didn't take it into account for the for the results then 195 183 and average for the two runs 187 and to the other direction we got pretty good results 243 244 and 240. you can see all of these runs the first and the last one the consumption is usually lower so this, we had a little bit of snow on the road when we started to do the test there was already some grooves on the road but it packed on each, each drive by and that's why the consumption results are getting lower and lower then the next third tire was 255-55R18 which had six millimeters and six and a half millimeters left but this was 2019 bake tires so they are a little bit old 176 and 172 we only did two runs because it was already getting darker and average 174 for the north direction and south pretty good results but here still a little bit lower results on the other other run and average 244 and then in the evening we verified the conditions and we got much lower consumption figures for the evening runs 10.9 percent compared to the morning for the same tires temperature was ex exactly the same in the evening it was during the day one Celsius lower in one point so the conditions were pretty much the same no wind during all of the day about one meters per second was forecast so no wind should be there cloudy weather so no sun affected results here you can see for the tesla stock tires we have put that it's it's zero speed error even there is speed error but then these two tires were bigger in diameter so they get two percent correction figures which are then calculated from this average and they get a little bit better consumption in real life and average for both directions uh, in the morning 212 for the 22560 18s a Tesla original size 215, uh, the 255-55, 205, consumption is getting lower, and then in the evening verifying run average 189, so here from these figures I calculated the 10.9% difference, and to calculate corrections, we then divided this each run and tried to get the same results for all of these 3.7 more for each runs to get these results 
match. So that's for the road conditions because they weren't the same. Then for for you can see these uh, two to five sixteens. They have no wheel covers on it, and that would boost the consumption four percent more. So there we get the final consumption 204 for the 225618s would be the consumption if it would have smooth wheel covers. The Tesla original tire size 223 and we have got 8.5% lower consumption with the 225 white tires. Uh, the 255 two tires Different between toes is 1.3% better is the 18 inch size but here remember that the tire compound is giving some uh, benefits for the R5 so actual 18 inch new tires in Hakkabalitta R5 would be probably 4% better in 18 inch size for the same 255 white tires and sadly we had two other tire sizes also but those we need to do in the next tests because we had problems bolting them to the car so we have to modify the wheels and spacers a little bit to get them fit here you see how they lay up and what we see use so stock tire is nine and a half times 19 and ET45 the 225s are 8 times 18 and ET35 and same course for the 255-55s, the wheel diameters are the same. The 225 sits about 10-12 mm more inwards, inwards the tire outer edge which is good for winter tires because it's so sharp the corner and the 255s they are like almost 20, 20 mm, 15 mm more outwards on the 18 inch size and that's hurting a lot for the aerodynamics so better would be uh, like ET45, ET50 wheels to get better better tire inside the fenders but that's it uh, we measured also the noises but those measurements need to be repeated I didn't know how to use the programs correctly I have put to Facebook the first measurements but they are only peak value I want to measure also the averages because that tells more the truth how quiet or loud the tires are the 225 and 255 45s were the quietest tires in the test hard to say which one was better the 255-55-18s were a little bit scary also if you actually drive it on the road for the rear wheel drive car in corners you had to brake much more to feel comfort or the doubler going to the corners and in the accuracy and it was pulling the car a lot in the braking not so much big difference in the steering response but that's it thanks for watching and Give feedback and hopefully more test results will come later.